learners welcome to BLIS hub in this channel we will cover all the topics of BLIS and it will also be useful for CLIS and DLIS students so stay connected with BLIS hub so today's topics are aims and objectives of library need of library purpose and of purpose of library functions of library what are the aims and objectives of library aims and objectives of library are to assemble, organize, preserve, socialize, and serve all expressed thoughts embodied as manuscript, books, periodicals, and every other similar document produced as a means of communication. To help in transmission of knowledge of the earlier generation to the later one. To help in cumulation and further building up of knowledge from generation to generation. To help in contemporary development of knowledge by avoiding unintended and purposeless repetition of research and the consequent wastage in research potential of humanity. To, cons to conserve the research time of the scholars by separation of literature search in library from positive research in laboratories. Therefore, the aim is to provide maximum reading and use facility to maximum number of users in minimum span of time in order to speed up the advancement of knowledge and information for betterment of society. Next topic, need of library. Libraries are very useful for us either when we are kid in school students in college learning something to ace that new job interview or for finding the perfect book to read in our spare time a library plays a very important role in promoting the progress of knowledge there are many people who love reading but can't afford to buy books because the price of books are very high so when one become a member of a library he can borrow valuable books a member can borrow two books at a time and he can keep it with him for two weeks libraries are particularly useful for poor children even those who can't afford to buy all books they required for their studies for example invaluable books like encyclopedias and large dictionaries cannot be purchased a public library is a place that is open to poor and rich alike there are many there are mainly two sections in a library they are the lending section and the reference section any member can borrow books from the lending section non members can also use the reference section they are allowed to enter the section free of charge. They can take down notes from the books. There is another section in the library. This section is called the study room. Some students find it very difficult to do study at their home due to various reasons. This section is particularly useful for such students. A library is very useful for rural youths too. If they take to reading, they will be able to refrain from evil habits such as loitering and gambling. There are not only books but also newspapers, magazines, periodicals and government gazette in a library. A library is very important place in society with the growing popularity of internet which provides loads of information with just a click of a mouse. One may pause to think about the decreasing relevance and importance of a library in today's world, but one should keep in mind that a person goes to a library not only to search and get information from books, but also to sit and study there. The ambience and the peaceful and scholarly atmosphere that help one to concentrate more on one's work and study. Any library needs to have a lot of books that are collected from various sources has to be organized and then preserved. And the people who do all this are librarians. In the last century, library science has evolved into library and information science. 
which includes technology, especially computers, in the field as tools for managing and preserving. Our next topic, purpose of library. The purpose of establishing a library is to serve as a means where by the records of human thoughts, ideas and expressions are made available to all. Libraries are for lending of books. Indeed, the earliest libraries were just a business museum or other place would take it upon themselves to educate their neighbors by lending out their collection of books. As collections increased, these places would need innovative means to organize and provide access to such books and innovative people to do the innovative work. Thus, librarians were invented. Current libraries continue to offer the lending of books as a key service. However, as processes slowly became replaced through automation, librarians have been taken away from these activities in favor of a more broad slate of activities like instruction and management. Second purpose of library. Libraries are for educating people of all ages since reading inevitably increases the brain power of, com of communities. An educational role for libraries seems fairly obvious. In academic and school libraries, this role is the most obvious and apparent since the institutions that host them are largely educational ones. The educational role for public libraries is also substantiated by the departments that govern many libraries. While the educational role for libraries is strong, it is not perfect. For instance, many assume education to be analogous with courses which while many libraries, libraries do offer courses of all types, this, activities is, this activity is particularly core to what libraries actually do. Third, Libraries are for preserving or promoting community culture. The cultural role of libraries is supported through the country governance. The cultural role for libraries is also fought with problems because it pits them into competition with museums, symphonies, archives, concert halls that are more closely tied to cultural development and yet offer services that involve the development of culture rather than the storage of it. The cultural role for libraries is largely a supportive one at best and does not speak to the value of a library has in a community, has in the community. Other roles, the identity of libraries are so tied to their communities that there is no end of roles of them. The reality is that the purpose of a library depends heavily on the culture, location and structure of its community. Libraries, especially public libraries, are extremely adaptive to community needs and can play the role to catch all where other institutions such as hospitals, universities and schools really struggle to play such a role. Apart from the above purposes, there are the following other purposes of library. Apply encouragement and leadership to the community to see if they can meet their own needs. Point to promote community asset, assets including books, meeting rooms, etc. when they can be helpful. Look at their communities to determine needs. Continue to grow. Our next topic and the last topic, functions of library. To achieve aforesaid aims and objectives, the library performs its four major functions. These are acquisition of reading materials, organization, classification and cataloging of reading materials, 
storing and maintenance of reading materials and dissemination of information by making the accumulated document available on demand these four functions could be classified in two broad categories technical services and reader services these three these first three are technical services and this is and the last one is reader service yes on the basis of different services provided the tasks performed are to acquire and conserve the whole of the national production of documents utilizing the existing library facilities fully to collect all the documents concerning that nation published throughout the world irrespective of language of publication to build up a complete collection self sufficient on all aspects of all subjects related to its country to store information on the nation minutely and fully catalogued classified and arranged which should be capable of answering any inquiry about the country to make the full responsibility for assuring that a copy of the whole of national production of documents is preserved in its original form it does not matter whether it is stored in one place or at different institutions a library is also responsible for compiling and publishing national bibliographies current and retrospective and coordinating bibliographical work in general general to provide facilities to enable a required document and extract or information translated into the original language of a user if required to extend its services to all citizens of a country it should be organized in such a way that people from all over the country find no difficulty to in approaching it next function to provide information about its collection and the ways of using it through all in through all educational and cultural institutions of the nation to enable the people to use the national library through all other institutions from any part of the country to provide leadership among the nation's libraries it should coordinate cooperate activities between the public libraries university libraries and special libraries for dissemination of knowledge to be responsible for ensuring that a country gets all foreign literature it requires especially on the latest developments in the field of science and technology without any time gap to display permanent and changing exhibitions of collections to the public including borrowed collections to provide cultural library and in educational activities geared towards the general public as well as specific audience including students last one to maintain and operate an infrastructure that allows among other things suitable study documentation storage preservation presentation and research conditions so that's all for today's videos thanks for watching like and subscribe for more updates thank you